What is up y'all? Sitting here editing this video that I'm trying to put together here. I'm afraid I left out a lot of context in this video, so bear with me. I'm gonna try to slap this one together. Basically, I've got a new fish tank, and uh, it's in my office right behind me. It's a 55 gallon, it's a 55 gallon breeder tank, and uh, I've got, I got 34 fire red cherry shrimp in it, and I've got some full red um, fancy guppies in it, and I got six new super red bristlenose plecos to put in it. So I've had this project going for like a week now. As everything came in, I set it all up and I didn't video any of the setting up, but I've got a lot of clips and I talk about it a little bit and talk about how I've got it set up and stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. thought I would catch you up to speed um, I didn't film the making of this fish tank but basically if you remember back to the community fish tank it actually came with a twin 55 gallon I bought the stand and the two 55 gallons together off of a guy on Craigslist for real cheap and this tank has been setting empty for the last four months and I was gonna wait and build a sump but I'm digging these sponge filters a lot I've got one hang on the back to really polish the water and I've got some uh, filter media in there um, you know some biological media in there as well and some filter floss that actually polishes the water really good but this uh, gigantic sponge filter is doing very well as well um, I put sand on the bottom and then I put some blue ball stratum on top of that some shrimp uh, substrate I've got a valve up front here a couple of valves and a plant here and then I've got some java fern on some Malaysian driftwood back there with a real big portion of java moss that a lot of it was kind of dead whenever I got it but it's coming back to life. I think a lot of the fish and the shrimp in here are cleaning it up really good. And then I've got, I think that's hornwort in the back. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I've got some micro, no, micro swords are in a different tank. I've got some um, uh, dwarf hair grass, I believe is what the little shorties up here are called. And then I got some Java Fern Windelow back there on another piece of um, Malaysian driftwood. I do have some sandstones in here just placed various places. Um, and I've got 34 high grade fire red cherry shrimp in here. And then I've got uh, a trio of full red uh, fancy guppies in here and uh figured i'd come along on this little video to show you guys this i didn't film making it but um i don't know i've been inspired here lately i did just purchase 330 gallon tanks used off of craigslist so there's going to be more tanks to come we've pretty much just turned into a little aqua shop here <laughs> so um I'm gonna call this one my 55 gallon breeder tank and I am going to breed fancy guppies in here uh, high grade cherry shrimp and then I'm also gonna breed um, some super red uh, bristlenose plecos and I've got them right next door in this little uh, quarantine tank that I built I can shoot to that clip right now. Set up a little 10 gallon quarantine tank and my super red plecos came this week and I'm super stoked about them. I ordered five of them and they're about two inches long and they sent me an extra one in case there was a dead on arrival but there wasn't. And all six of them are doing really good. I don't know if we can get them on video here. They're kind of 
They're just eating too. Isn't it? There's a couple of them back there. They're all about two inches long. There's one that's about three inches long. And uh, I love them. They're more of an orange. There's the big one. They're more of an orange than they are red, but I think when they get older, I think when they get older, they'll brighten up. But they're really cool. I'll keep them here in quarantine for about a week. And then I'll move them over to the breeder tank, which has really turned out to be a nice tank. This one's in my office and uh, right beside my desk. I love it. My guppies are nice too. Um, the females, their tails are starting to get red. And the male, they call them a full red fancy guppy. I think it'll look a lot better once I've got them adult and uh, the tank is full. But they're growing. They were supposedly three months old. I think they were a little younger. They were pretty much fry. But uh, yeah, they're growing. I've had the new shrimp in here for about a week and all together I got like 34 in here. But ever since I put them in here, I've only been able to count up to 20 at a time. But right now, I came in here and fed them, and oh my gosh, I just counted 31, and I had to grab the camera. Um, let me see if I can find Big Mama, the biggest one. I know that one, back on that cholo wood back there, she's pretty big. It's probably blurry. Um, I just, that's a big one back here too, on this java fern. That one back there is pretty big, but there is a huge, oh, there she is. You can't really see there. She is huge. I mean to tell you, she is the Mac Mama. She's the queen of our operation. <laughs> She's really kind of dark, but man, up next to that other shrimp there, you can tell. She's huge. Hopefully she gets back up on top here and gives us a good shot. I see her all the time. She's very, very active. She eats all the time. But I got a little old ashtray in here. And I put the food in there. I've got some green beans and some shrimp food and um, some algae wafers. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I did good on these second 25 that I bought. They're pretty high grade. She's really nice. She is nice. Thumbnail. <laughs> So what'd you guys think? It's been a lot of fun um, getting into this aquarium hobby as of late because it'd been like 20 years since I'd kept any fish. So I'm really enjoying it. I actually bought some more tanks the other day off of Craigslist so I've got some more tanks coming down the road. This one back here will keep you updated on it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, got a lot of room to add a lot of fish in it. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to do like a breeding for profit type thing. Try to pay for some fish food. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for coming along. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, y'all.